that sets up the third Minnesota Golden Gopher trying to win a championship here. It's a two-time defending team titleist. Minnesota have had that taken away by Oklahoma State trying to salvage something now. And this is Damian Hahn. But a tremendous takedown in the semis over Muhammad Lau. That was spectacular stuff. He's a three-time All-American. John Trench of Lehigh lacing him up. Putting the anklets on. He's 35 and 2. Going back a couple of years ago, 1999, he was the number one recruit in the entire country. Lost to Kale Sanderson, of course. Last year's final. Now another shot at it. And here we go. And that, those are goggles that he is wearing. He's had a detached retina and a torn retina. Actually, had surgery after the detached retina. And after discussing it with his parents, who were obviously very concerned about this and wrestling close by close body full contact he came up with his goggle theory and it's been working for him you're looking at the the lehigh coaching staff excuse me is greg strobel and gary mccoy the 2000 olympian and you can bet they have a strong impact on trench's style he was a good one coming in but quality coaching helps now, lehigh has been one of the surprise schools here at the championships Sending two to the championship round. Troy Letters, of course, an outstanding wrestler on the team. They really are Lehigh strong in their middleweights. Won 88% uh, of the matches during the season, the Mountain Hawks did. From 157 up to 197. There's Greg Strobel, the Lehigh head coach, and immediately they're just getting cut out of the picture. Kerry McCoy, and he was the 2000. Heavyweight representative for the United States. Great wrestler, national champion from Penn State. And you can bet they have a big influence on this run of Lehigh head upper weights. Wouldn't be surprised if they recruit a good heavyweight by next year as well. Round out that Lehigh squad. They're going to be contenders. So Lehigh has made an impact and uh, a lot of excitement in Pennsylvania over this wrestling program, which uh, had struggled over the last few years. After Turner, it was a great program, then it kind of died, but Greg Strobel's brought in some great coaches, obviously some great talent, and they are cooking, and I think next year they'll have an impact. And when you have a coach like Strobel, that attracts wrestlers because they know of his reputation, his skill at coaching, what he's done professionally, right? And he's an Olympic coach, so he's certainly got great credentials both collegiately and freestyle. So Lehigh looking for a championship and rebuilding a program. Exciting times in Pennsylvania for Lehigh wrestling. Damian Hahn, he's had a pretty good run here. Two fifth place finishes. Two time All American now in the finals. I'm talking to Jay Robinson before the semis, I said, you know, do you think Damian has a chance? And he goes, oh yeah, we're counting on him to be in the finals. And he was able to defeat Lowell from Oklahoma State. They kind of gave Minnesota hope that they could still be in the team race, but OSU qualified 10 guys here. And that's just, there was two more than Minnesota had, and those two people really made it tough for Minnesota, as well as how well OSU performed. A fifth place finish by Lewis, fourth by Sanders, third by Roller, third by Pendleton, and third by Lowell, and that was just too much to overcome for the Golden Gophers, the two-time team champions. Last year, Hahn was a semifinal loser to Josh Lambert, this year at 19 and 3, a scoreless first period thus far. Damien was a highly recruited wrestler coming out of New Jersey. Nothing yet. As long as Damien, oh, he let go of the rock. And he trends will score. And he'll try to keep Damien Han down for these final seconds of the first period. As long as he keeps that ankle, he's all right. He gives it. So Trench. Has the first two points of the match. Trench studying environmental biology. You were talking about the Ivy League flavor of Lehigh. Gonna have to get over to the corner and they're gonna have to make an adjustment perhaps on the goggles. It might be cutting into his eye. 
He actually has spares with him because the goggles sometimes break due to the contact in wrestling. And he fiddles. He went to the face shield that Brute developed. Then he went back to these goggles. He And so Damian Hans, Minnesota Golden Gophers are firmly entrenched in second here in these championships. Oklahoma State is clinched with 143 points after the win by Robbie Waller at 174, or rather by Jake Roschelt at 184. Robbie Waller, the Oklahoma wrestler at 174 with a championship. Trench lifting Damian Hahn, knocking him down and Comes right back up. Minute 43 left in the second. We've already crowned a number of champions. As you look into the Lehigh corner. See those scoreboards off to the right corner of your screen. That's what most of the fans here in the Kemper Arena are focused in on when they're not watching the wrestling directly. Lehigh leading 2-0. John Trench, the number one seed against the number six seed, Damian Hahn of Minnesota. Trench needs to be careful here. He can get a warrant for stalling, not trying to return a man to the mat. And he cuts him loose. Escape point for Hahn, two to one. So our champions thus far, Travis Lee kicked it off 125 pounds from Cornell and Johnny Thompson of Oklahoma State, Tion Ware, at 141 from Oklahoma, Eric Larkin from Arizona State, Ryan Burton of Michigan, Matt Lackey of Illinois, Robbie Waller of Oklahoma, as I mentioned, Jake Roschild at 184 from Oklahoma State. So both Oklahoma schools get two champions. And you know something? I have to bring it up because anyone who has watched this telecast through the years knows where's Iowa? Uh, they're coming up in the heavyweight division. And they are, and boy, they got a good one, but it's surprising to see them not in the top five. And Iowa was so dominant over the last few years, too. They six in a row, what, six in a row, nine six of ten? Six in a row before Minnesota knocked them off, and then from 91 to 2001, they never finished worse than second. And suddenly to be off the board completely. Well, they had a dynasty there for sure in the 90s, first with uh, Dan Gable and Jim Zaleski. But now maybe maybe you're right. Maybe parody has become part of uh, wrestling. Okay. And well, most nationally. programs hit a secular cycle where you might have a down year, but I was not used to down years. And a lot of talk about the Iowa program. They've got some good recruits. they got people in there. So next year it'll be an interesting to see how Iowa comes back. Third period about to begin. John Trench with a 2-1 advantage. Trench with riding time of 52 seconds. Trench a two-time Pennsylvania state champion. 145 and 16 in high school. That was as if uh, Trench was allowed to escape. Yeah, he cut him loose. He just knows cut he's going to need him. Well, if you can't turn the guy on the bottom, there's no sense trying to keep him down because you're trailing. You're going to lose if you don't turn him. So let him do his feet and look for that takedown point. And hahn has got a shot. What a beautiful change off. He was in with an inside trip and then switched off to a high crotch and drilled Trench into the mat. It's 3-3 three to three with a minute 24. And he's tied it up. I expect him to cut him loose again. Let's look at that here. He'll start with a right leg inside trip. Trench steps off right there, and he switches beautifully to that lift, dumping Trench down. And here he cuts him loose again. Look for him to look for another takedown. So Trench back with the lead for three. Got 42 seconds of riding time. Not enough to earn a point. Lehigh doesn't want to lose another here. They'll be shut out in the finals. And Greg Strobel screaming, you don't want to be in an underhook. And he's encouraging Trench to do a sweep single back leg. So he's going to go after Hans' left leg, the back leg. Under a minute remaining. Lehigh leading 4-3 and John Trench trying to win a national championship. And 
And again, lost. Damian Hunt forcing that left underhook, something the coaches don't want Trend in. Last year, a loser to Kale Sanderson was John Trend. We lost to him three times last year, Mike, and one of them was at the All-Star Classic, the National Wrestling Coaches Association All-Star Classic. Jay Robinson of Oklahoma encouraging Damian Hunt, and he lost just six to one to Sanderson, and the match was in doubt all the way to the end. Final 20 seconds now. Han really pushing Trench now. Oh, he tries to duck under there, but couldn't get it. Trench just trying to hang on and stay in bounds to kill time, and they're out. 11 seconds now. It's do or die for Damian Han. 11 seconds left, down by a point. Hands are down. Hands are down. Hands. Strobel yelling, hands down. Keep your hands down so we can't get a blast shot in. Oh, and Damian Han might get it. Nothing yet. Another he does it again. Final second reversal there by Damian Hahn. I mean, he reversed the trend of the match in a 5 4 advantage. Three seconds left. It's not over. He did the same thing to Lalo last night, getting a last second takedown to clinch the match, and here he does it in the finals. Trench had a lead to the final seconds. And Damian Hahn, two amazing finishes in the semis and now here for the championship. And Jay Robinson told me before the semifinal match they expected Hahn in the finals to do well, and he got there and he did well. Damian Hahn, what a finish. And what a great way for the Golden Gophers here to end this national championship. They didn't win the team title, but that surely helped soften the blow. Let's look at it here. A quick come in. He tries a lateral drop. Nearly got trench to go, but it was enough to turn the corner, get behind it here, getting him down, keeping his feet in bounds for the winning points. So like Houdini, Damian Hahn has come back in the final seconds, both in the semis and the finals, and he joins Stacy Pace. You have absolutely been waiting for this opportunity. You finally proven yourself. Talk about that match in particular. You saw, we saw you do the same thing in the semifinals in the last three seconds. You turned it around. Was that part of your MO? Um, no. I, like, I didn't go out there and wrestle my match. Uh, kind of let him wrestle. I kind of followed him a little bit, but uh, the 11 seconds left on the clock, so it ain't over yet. And I knew he, I was going down my point, and he was going to try and coast it out. So I had to go after him, and went after, I went after him, and I got to take him. What was going through your mind with those 11 seconds left? I was like, Damien, you got to pick it up. You got to score. And I looked over to coaches, and they're yelling and screaming at me, so I better pick it up. And I did, and I, I won. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Damien Hahn, the champion of the 197-pound class, over John Trench, and he did it in the final three seconds in dramatic fashion. We'll be back more. Of the NCAA championships coming up. The heavyweights are headed into your living room as we continue from Kansas City.